Hey, what's good, heavy hitters? So the reason I'm getting at you today is because it sounds like I put a boot in my mouth yesterday. You know, it sounds like I booted back up, and that's not the case. I just want everybody to know that. You know, uh, I went to work this week, put in a couple three, ten hour days, and each day I got a parking ticket. Each day I got a parking ticket. I guess you got to add the same amount of whatever to your rent down there at uh, uh, Playa del Rey or Del Mar or whatever it is. But anyway. You know, I, I told you guys I was watching the news and that stuff had me really upset and that's how angry I can, and disconnected I could get as, if I don't stay on top of things. You know, I want it to be known that I'm not active. You know, um, if I were, those kids would be in trouble. That's all I gotta say. They're in trouble as it is, you know? So I just felt like I put my boot in my mouth. A couple of you guys called me on it and I was like, you're right, man. When I said, we're gonna get you, you know, the gods work thing out things out themselves. I don't have to do anything today, you know. Um, but I can get that disconnected J-Cat up just as quick when I start watching angry shit. That's why I try and stick to the positivity. That's why I do, you know, whatever I get up. <laughs> I get a my God on a daily basis, and if I don't continuously throughout the day sometimes, then that Constantine wire that's behind me, it's gonna be a lot higher, and uh, odds are I'm gonna to have to come out of retirement. And that's not something I'm trying to do. You know, um, it's so hard, it's so hard to stay positive all the time. And I say that, yet, you know, so, okay, some of you guys asked me, was I still working? Yes, I, I did a couple 10 hour days and we finished the job. So, and I got told some cool shit, you know, like your work ethic just isn't around anymore. People just don't have your work ethic anymore. You know, and that really made me feel good. Um, you know, I wanna say thank you so much to Les, Eminem, Cliffster. You guys, you've been full supporters of the channel. Uh, You've been with me the whole time and you've supported me in many different ways and I just want to say respect. You know, I really do appreciate you guys who bailed me out of a couple of situations. Um, I've never asked and you guys just come through on your own and that's it's people like you that make me continue to do the things that I do. You know, I want to be just like you. That's right, big brother. I want to be just like you. You know, I want to be kind, considerate and giving to my fellow man. And that's not always my story, guys. You know, like I could lose it in a second and uh, that's why I have to stay on top of things. You know what I mean? Like I told you, it starts at home. It started in my home. Um, it was a behavior that you get very comfortable in the hate, the anger, and you get very comfortable in it, you know. And yesterday after watching the news, which I will not be doing anymore, I will not be watching the news any further because if it's going to disconnect me that far to where... I'm involving myself in things again, I'm over it, you know. Um, let's see, what were some of the questions that you guys had asked? Uh, so anyway, whatever, like this channel, you know to call me on my shit, you know what I mean? Please feel free to check me, I'm good with that, you know what I mean? Because I try and live what I say on a daily basis, especially now that I live with 20 men again. You know what I mean? And the other night, oh yeah, that's what I was trying to do. So one of my boys in Ireland that hits me up on Instagram sends me this message. I'd like to find it and read it to you. White Light Rising, don't get upset, but I'm gonna read it to him, all right? Uh, uh, I caught your, your uh, okay. So I guess it's in the phone that I'm in. Anyway, this is the, let me just it up for you. He hasn't seen his nephew in a long time and his, his behaviors led him to where his family wasn't dealing with him any further. He's got a beautiful daughter um, that still probably held some grudges against him. They've been working that stuff out. Beautiful. And tell your kids every day you love them. You know what I mean? Even if you want to choke the shit out of them at that particular time, you know, because tomorrow ain't promised to none of us, man just is not promised to any of us so try and enjoy today you know you see where i'm at i'm at my favorite gym right you see the pup back there fucking trying to get some of that good good later on tonight it's friday night trying to line some up you know what i mean which is what what kids his age are supposed to be doing man not sitting behind a damn prison wall being told when to eat you know being told man who to hate who to who to move on, who to do this, who to do that. You know what I mean? Like, it just ain't cool, man. 
You know what I mean? Like, I get the hate. I do. I, I really get it. I get it. I get it. It gets so comfortable and it gets so comfortable until that's it. That's it. You're stuck in it. Yeah, I mean, please, guys, find some help, man. Some of you pups out there or get at me on. And I try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Please keep in mind that I do, too, have a life. And I'm trying to hustle by, you know, like I pay for my bed and another bed there. You know, and right now that bed's empty because I haven't been able to find somebody to put in that bed. So I got to try and work something out with the owner this month. Um, three parking tickets back to back. It seems like I worked for free. You know what I mean? $73, $73, $2 to use your credit card, $2 to use your credit card, $68, $2 to use your credit card. And I only parked long enough to unpack some groceries at, for the $68 one. But whatever, I'm sniveling. I know it. You don't have to tell me. So anyway, I just wanted to send out an, uh, an, uh, an amends, letting it be known that we aren't going to get you, but you will be got. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not part of that. I'm trying not to be part of any of that, man. I don't have any problem with anybody today. And if I do, I try and do the work on me and not worry about what they do. Everybody out there is a tool, a perfect tool in your life. You see how someone's behaving and you don't like it? Don't act like that. You see something humble, kind, giving? Act like that if that's what you like. You know what I mean? I guarantee you that you're going to go a lot further in life if that's the road you're walking. You know, I come down to the gym and I see these other cats down here and I'm just like, respect, man. They're down here trying to get their money still. Probably benching more than me right now, you know. That boot camp tore me up because I thought I would just lose like a belly. I lost arms. I lost everything, you know what I mean, to doing that fucking six-week boot camp, man. Lost everything but what I wanted to lose, <laughs> whatever. So, listen, you guys, it's a beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm down here at my favorite gym. Got the pup with me. He's uh trying to, well, I already told you, trying to get some of that good good for tonight. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's cool. My girl's sort of a normie, and she's going to be coming to a meeting tonight with me. And, you know, I think that everybody out there, whether you're an alcoholic, addict, or whatever, you should work the 12 steps and have a, have a way to utilize some tools in your life, man. Because there's people out there that have never drank, that are just miserable, never used, that are just miserable. They probably would have been better off if they had drank or used. But some kid asked me on there, you know what I mean? I'm in a deep, dark, dark spot, in a deep, dark, dark hole. How can I get out of it? Please, Badger, how can I get out of it? I said 12 steps will get you right out of it. You know what I mean? 12 simple steps. I'd like to jump in that hole with him because I know how to get out of there. Work the 12 steps. You know, uh, so we're not going to do too much prison stuff on this today. I, I've officially gotten with somebody who knows what they're doing. Patreon's going to be back up, and you guys will get tales not just from me, but from those that have been there, those that have most recently gotten out of there, and from some of those that are still in there. You know what I mean? We'd be talking on a regular basis. They just cut a sick-ass video called The Death of a Child Molester and sent it to me. So I don't know if I'm going to put it up, man, but... You know, anyway, life's good. Life's what you make it, man. You know, I'd like to say life's good, but three parking tickets back to back. To... <laughs> so anyway, guys, nothing but love and respect. I apologize for putting my boot in my mouth yesterday because my boots are in the closet and hopefully that's where they stay. You know, I want to be a role, role model to those that need the help today because I didn't have one, you know. And neither did a lot of my partners. And they're all solid dudes, you know what I mean? So, with that said, you know, to you, all right? We'll get at you soon. Say later, dog. Later, dog.